Okay, in this video, big congrats to Taylor Montgomery making his way on up to the PGA Tour from the Corn Ferry Tour. Player from UNLV, super powerful player, uh, amazing athleticism. Let's take a look at this cool swing. This is a long iron, but just look at this guy. So strong, so flexible, very impressive. Can't wait to see him out there competing with the big boys. Reaches it back here. And we can really see him loading and getting set for power as he goes up. So he's on his way up. He's already creating this dropping motion. And if you see just how much he turns his shoulders compared to his hips, he keeps dropping and loading. Almost no hip turn. I mean, he's probably got about 35 degrees of hip turn, 30 maybe, to that 90 plus shoulder turn. And as he starts it down, just in the legs, getting lower and lower and lower. Left arm, left lat, just stretched out like crazy. And the only thing that can sort of hold him back to some degree is that right elbow tucking so hard, pulls that shaft a bit steep into here. And that may or may not be something he can really recover uh, that often. Now, granted, this video isn't from yesterday, it's a little bit old video. I'll have to wait till he gets out, get some more highlights going. So this could be a little shallower, but most signatures don't change a ton once guys get this good. And once again, it's a little steep there, which he'll have to recover that, which means it's gonna slow down his rotation to some degree. And you'll have to come upward somewhere to get that club back down. Now this was ripped right down the middle, but you can see he is coming up. There is this, this upward motion and the upward motion sends the hands off the sh uh, hands off the shaft plane, and that will get a little twist at the bottom for a lot of his shots. So pretty tall there, up through impact, super powerful, but also that's going to cause some directional control problems. But wow, what an amazing player to watch! Sort of quarter view here from face on with the driver. You can see just a, just a big strong looking dude. Winds it. Like I said, physically, I'm not sure there's anything this guy can't do. I mean, he really looks strong and flexible. There's that power sit move. Looks like an old John Daly move. Left arm, like I said, stretched across the body. And the, really the legs, they're going hard here. Hips are going. Like I said, really looks like an old John Daly picture. Full extension explosion right there. It gets up on that left leg, and the arms get that energy just flying out to the club. And look at that finish. I mean, look at the ability to rotate for that kind of strength and power. And for those of you that really struggle with consistency and you feel like your arms are just taking over too often in your golf swing, you look at how he gets down here into the, you know, lowering himself down, and how then, if you look at that left arm position right in there, Stand up, get in a mirror, and try to get in that position. And you'll see as your left arm gets across your chest and your arms are not pulling the club down, and this one you hear shallows out better than even that iron did to some degree. Don't have the perfect camera angle, can't totally see it. But it makes sense that if he's sitting and rotating more and the arms are in a different position slightly, that club can be a little bit shallower. That's how you try to get the hands out of it. If you're starting your swing down right in this area and the arms are just flying off your chest and they're getting separation from your chest, chances are the body's slowing down too quickly and your arms will be forced to take over through the hitting area. And just to show his versatility, he's got this sort of no hinge approach shot or par three shot. Lack of hinge there, trying to flight this ball. Once again, sits down, rotating. Certainly down longer on this one, which will give him more control than he might have if he lags that thing like crazy. I'm sure he found out over time if he gets too much hinge, gets too laggy, and he really can't control the, the bottom of the arc there. One last look at the swing here when he is hitting approach shots. He does have the ability, if he's not going too hard, to calm this thing down, stay in his posture, and get that club face control.
do the hitting iron with these wedges, shorter irons. As you can see that club face there, staying square to the arc, square to the arc here. Some of the other ones, you can see that thing towing over too quickly if he gets up and out of that posture. But for these approach shots, let's, let's, I mean, he's fifth on the Corn Ferry Tour, so clearly he's figuring a lot of things out every, every single year he's getting better. Taking a tough road to the PGA Tour, but now that he's there, I'm sure he'll take full advantage. And lastly for this player, incredible, what a great putter he is. Won putting contests, won, made a bunch of money doing putting contests and putting competitions. And he is an incredible putter. So along with all that amazing power, here's a player that can roll the rock like anybody. Like I said, similar back to John Daly in the day where really had all facets of the game working. So I can't wait to see this player out on the PGA Tour next year competing. Let's just see how good he becomes over time. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And a quick reminder, if it's your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please hit the like button as well. That really helps the channel grow. And we'll see you in the next video.